American cars in the Netherlands. Well, I'm in one right now and I'm surprised still to this day how popular American market cars are here in the Netherlands. And when I say American market cars, just to clarify, I mean cars that were never sold in the European market that have either been imported by the owners who are driving the car or imported by somebody else and are being driven around today. And it's surprising to me that people choose to drive big American cars here in the Netherlands and in other European countries. And yes, while I'm driving one today, it still surprises me how popular these cars are here in the Netherlands. Yesterday evening, I had the pleasure of joining something called the Saturday Night Cruise, which is organized by an American car club here in the Netherlands. It was in The Hague, and I went down there, took the Mercury there, of course. And you know, it was a really cool experience. It was really cool to see, one, how many American market cars were there, old Chevys, old Oldsmobiles, Buicks, um, even modern cars, Mustangs, Camaros, uh, Dodge Chargers, all, most of which were imported to the Netherlands at, at some point. There were a few of these American market cars that were sold in Europe. So something like a Corvette did have some sales in Europe and there are some European market Corvettes and they were also there. But to see American market cars, Suburbans, um, old Chevy vans, there at this car show was just hilarious to me. But what was really cool about it is one, to see how passionate people are and how passionate the owners are for these cars. And to see how many people, you know, young and old, really loved looking at these cars in person. Even pulling up there with the Mercury Grand Marquis, I was already getting stares. I was spotted even before I made it into the event. So that was really cool. What was really nice owning a Panther platform car is I got to meet up with a couple other Panther platform owners and really talk to them and get to understand, you know, what they like about these cars and, and see how passionate they were to drive these things around daily. So that's really cool to see. I'm a firm believer that the Mercury Grand Marquis, Ford Crown Victoria, Lincoln Town Car, these Panther platform cars, cars are going to be a real classic one day. They're the last of their kind and people are already starting to understand that. So it was cool to go to this event. It's cool to see the passion around the American cars, cool to, to talk to some of the owners and just see, you know, for, for a lot of people who maybe have never been to the United States, they've never seen these cars in person. So you can see that the, there was a lot of excitement to see these types of cars in person, especially little kids. I think they found some of these cars quite fascinating. But what's funny to me as an American is, you know, for some of these cars, you wouldn't even look twice if you saw them on American streets, right? I mean, an old Mercury Grand Marquis, Ford Crown Victoria, people don't really look twice when you see these on the, the roads in America. But of course here they stand out. And I, I've always said they're, they're so rare. So really cool to see that passion. So it was really cool to see the passion with all of the owners, passion with the visitors and the kids there at this event. And cool to talk to some of the owners to also understand the struggles of driving a big American vehicle around on streets that it was not designed for and parking in spaces or putting it in awkward situations like I'm doing right now and driving through the city center of Amsterdam. And that's what's cool about having these American cars here in Europe. So it's cool to see the passion and the, the, the following behind these cars in, in the Netherlands. But which European country do you think has the biggest passion for American cars? I've heard Sweden also has a big passion for American cars, maybe Norway as well. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is it the Netherlands? Is it Sweden? Is it somewhere else? Uh, which European country has the biggest passion for American cars? As an American living abroad, I still find it hilarious, but it's also so cool to see and kind of cool to be part of that right now, driving one of these big American cars on streets it wasn't designed for. So that's really it. That's what I wanted to cover following going to that American car show yesterday. I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on how I see, you know, driving an American car around here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm curious to get your thoughts. And like I said before, what European country do you think has the biggest passion and the biggest following for American market cars? And I mean, American cars that were never sold in Europe. Which European country has that? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.